Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about GeForce Now, the cloud game streaming application and the fact that it has now released a native M1 version. This has optimization specifically for the ARM chip and today I'm going to be showing you how to download this, how to get it set up on your Mac and we're going to be demonstrating the difference between the Rosetta 2 version and the ARM version and also showing off some games. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing. It only takes a moment to do and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac games. Gaming news. So game streaming is quite important because it really opens up the number of games that are playable on the M1 Mac. There are plenty which are not compatible mainly due to the anti-cheat and sometimes they don't support the DirectX 12 graphics API. So today we're going to be streaming games like Lost Ark, Genshin Impact and Destiny 2 and also going to show you how to get the best latency possible. So now I'm going to show you how to download and install GeForce Now. We're going to leave a link to the GeForce Now website in the description and once we get here we're going to go to the download tab here and then we're going to scroll down I want to find the macOS download. So I'm going to press the download button here and it's going to start the GeForce Now download. Then we're going to go to Finder and then go to Downloads. And then we're going to find the GeForce Now release.dmg, which we're going to double click. Then we're going to drag this into the Applications folder and then let go. Then we're going to go to the Applications folder and then scroll down and then we're going to find the NVIDIA GeForce Now application. And then we're going to go ahead and double click. Here we're going to press the open button to manually open and now this application has loaded up. So at the time of recording, if we actually look at the GeForce Now application and get info, you'll actually see that this is an Intel application and when you download it for the first time, it's going to be the Rosetta 2 version. However, if you run the application for a long enough time, then it's eventually going to offer you the updated version. So here I've got the two versions side by side. So this one here is the Rosetta 2 version that's online, which is version 2.0.39.111 and then the updated version is 2.0.4. 40.118 and this is going to be the universal version which has the optimized native m1 binary and if you do do an update then what we're going to find is that this is going to load much faster for example here i'm going to double click and then it's instantly open. And this is in stark contrast to the original Rosetta 2 version which can often take over 30 seconds to completely open and get to the main menu this is not going to have a huge effect on the streaming because all of graphics performance is actually done over the cloud. However, this is definitely going to have some quality of life improvements. And this is very likely to have better power efficiency and battery performance too. So anyway, once we've got GeForce Now open, what we now need to do is to go ahead and log in. So I'm going to click the login button here and this is going to open up a browser tab. So if you don't have an NVIDIA account already, all you need to do is to click join today. So the base tier of GeForce Now is actually completely free to use. So here I'm going to select my region. Here you're going to click join now. So the free tier is definitely the one that we recommend using first. This is because you don't really know what the performance is going to be like until you try it out. The main disadvantage with the free account is that you only have one hour session length and you might have to queue with other users in order to get access to that free session, which might take a bit of time at the most popular time, say in the evening. With priority, we can also switch between one and six months and we have access to better settings and we can also jump the queue as well. And it also lets you run games for up to six hours at a time. You also have the option here for RT. RTX 3080, which gives the highest performance. The RTX 3080 comes at a much higher price, but allows you to have access to eight hour sessions, and it also lets you go up to 1440p at 120 frames per second, and also lets you stream at 4K if you have a Shield TV, which is a TV set-top box. So for now, we're gonna be joining the free session here. We're gonna click join, and then all you need to do is to enter your email and then create your account, where you can go ahead and log in with one of these other account services. In order to log in, I'm gonna go ahead and click the button here and then click my account and then I'm going to enter my existing email address. So now that I've logged in here, I can now close the browser window and I've logged into my account here. So the next thing that you're going to do is to connect up your accounts. So GeForce Now doesn't come with its own games. You need to attach games to the service. So here you're going to click the menu button on the top left and then click settings. And then we're going to go ahead and connect our accounts. So the most important one that most people will want to use is a Steam account. This is going to give you access to many of the Windows games on Steam. So I'm going to press the connect button here, type in my username and password. Then we're going to authenticate via Steam Guard by email. So once we've entered the code, we're going to click proceed to Steam. Not now. And now my Steam account is connected. So I can close this and press close. And if you wanted to, you could go ahead and add your Ubisoft account and also your Epic Games account too. However, I'm going to go back to here and go to games. And then if I scroll down here, basically all of the games listed here are games that I can basically play on GeForce Now. Not every single Steam game is going to be represented. This is due to licensing issues with GeForce Now. However, I'm just going to show you a couple of good games. So the first one I'm going to try is Lost Ark. So I've demonstrated this before using a cloud service called Boosteroid. However, GeForce Now 
is going to be an alternate way of running this. I've already added Lost Ark to my Steam account, so it's a game that I've played before, so I've not had to do any additional setup. So I'm now able to log into Lost Ark, and this pretty much feels seamless and local. So this is a very good quality streaming service. So I'm just going to demonstrate some gameplay. So in this situation, I do think that Lost Ark is very playable at this frame rate and resolution, especially if you've got a good internet connection. So I'm actually wired in via Ethernet. I'm actually getting a very good level of performance. You can actually check exactly what the performance is like on the Mac operating system by holding down the command option function key and then F6. And then this is going to bring up a stats window on the top left. So you can see the resolution here, we're running at 1080p at 60 frames per second. And you can see some of the latency information and stream information up here. So this is going to help give you a point of comparison, but almost all of this information is going to be determined by your internet connection. So now I'm going to demonstrate a different game. So all I'm going to do is close the overlay window and I'm going to hold down command G and then it's going to give us our overlay for GeForce Now. What I'm going to do is quit Lost Ark. So the next one I'm going to show is the game Genshin Impact. So there are actually multiple ways to play Genshin Impact on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac and you can check out the side loading tutorial. However, this is an alternate method of doing it without having to mess with any of the M1 Mac settings. So I'm going to press the play button and then continue. So all I need to do is to enter my username and password, do the capture then get the verification code in an email. So we're going to agree to all of the service notes here and press accept. Here I'm going to make sure we select the correct region. So I'm in Europe, so I'm going to select this one, press confirm. And now I'm going to press start game and then click to begin. So here I'm in the game now, I'm going to switch to the controller mode and I've got my Xbox One wireless controller here, which I'm going to use today. So here I'm just going to demonstrate what the latency is like. It feels pretty good. So there are some major advantages of streaming the game versus using the play cover side loading method. One of them is that we have far better graphics. So this is because we're running the PC Windows version of the game. We're not running the mobile version upscaled to a desktop screen. And also we have full keyboard and mouse support. We don't have to do any kind of touch remapping for the keyboard and mouse controls. We also have great controller support too. If I switch to Amber as well, I can do some aiming and it feels pretty good, almost native like. So the next game we're testing is Destiny 2, which will not run on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, but runs great on GeForce Now. So with Destiny 2, this is a action-based first-person shooter, which is completely online. So it's really important to have good latency, otherwise you're gonna really feel it when you're aiming a gun and you're trying to move at the same time. And thankfully, I can definitely say that this game works great on GeForce Now. I'm currently blessed with 300 megabit internet with 30 megabit upload and very low latency. So this service works great for me. However, if you have something slower or you're trying to use Wi-Fi, then you're going to have a worse experience, I'm afraid. Make sure to be connected via Ethernet for the best possible experience. What I'm going to do is to leave a link to my preferred USB Ethernet hub, which can plug straight into the M1 Mac. So I think that cloud gaming has a lot of potential on the Mac, especially as it's able to play games that are not compatible with the M1 hardware. And GeForce Now is not the only way to be able to play these games online. There are other competing services. I've got videos on xCloud, which is Microsoft's game streaming service, and also the service Boostroid as well, which can be cheaper and also might have data centers that are specifically closer to where you currently live. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.